Hey Geeks, this is Jim at MajorGeeks.com. Today I am going to code a video game uh, using AI. So actually, I'm not going to code anything. I'm going to let AI code everything. I'm just going to ask it some questions and suggestions and see what we come up with. The other day I, I showed how to do this in an article on how to code a uh, space shooter game using AI People thought it was a good idea to make a video on it just to to show uh, some of the basics. It, it's not hard, but but truth is, you know, it's hard to learn to write a paragraph if you don't know how to write a sentence, right? So there's some some things that could be clarified with video. Uh, so I'm going to use ChatGPT. You can use any of the AI engines that do code, whatever they call Bard these days, Perplexity. There's what a gazillion out of the out there right now, but ChatGPT is the, the the best known of them at this point. So why not use that? And to make myself a little easier, you can see I grabbed some assets here, or some did a little pre work. I'm going to be doing this live. I haven't done it before. I don't know what it's going to look like or end up as at all. But I've done some game coding before, and I know I'll need these things, and there's no point in you guys just watching me uh, go around the Internet trying to figure things out. Uh, I, w I will say I found uh, sound effects here at a company called uh, Pixabay. Uh, I didn't know about it. I'm sure y'all did. But um, great site for royalty free sounds uh, that I'm going to use in this project and I collected a couple images so what we're going to do is we're going to create a pong game because uh, who doesn't love pong right it's easy to make easy for the computer to understand uh, it's also you know old school as heck and we love that we're also gonna code the game in html5 uh, the reason we'll do that is basically HTML5 is HTML and JavaScript. You need no tools other than ChatGPT, Notepad, and a browser to run it. So anybody can do this without any special tools to compile things, add libraries, do all that. You need nothing but Notepad and a browser, and you're good to go. Now, when you, uh, when you begin, the first thing you want to do is form a statement as clear as possible to, to set your basics, to let ChatGPT know what you want to do. This is going to be the hardest part for me because, as I've said before, I'm dyslexic and a terrible typist. So I'm going to throw this all out to the world. You guys are going to see it as I do it and be like, oh my God, how does this guy get along in life? But you can see here I use Grammarly, um, not paid or endorsed by them. That's just the only way I get through this world in typing. And uh, you'll see me make use of that as well. So without further ado, let's get going. Uh, let's see here. I want to make a Pong game. Uh, in, and we said HTML5, right? Uh, oops. Um, the game will be single player. It's gonna, gonna be hard for, uh, two people to get on my keyboard, right? Whoops, I've already made a mistake, yeah? Um, HTML, single player, uh, using a paddle on the bottom. The sides should bounce the ball. And I'm doing so good here in spelling. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, and we should add some barriers in the play field to redirect the ball to make it more challenging. Oh, see, now I spoke too soon. Going wacko. All right. Um, 
will want to add something also about the score. You can put as much or as little as you want in the first statement. Um, uh, a winning score will be five times... Uh, how do we phrase this? Winning score five times... Um, winning score... Five times add a counter to the upper right. And again, you can be as clear, you can be, you can ask it for suggestions, you know, you can do all that stuff. And, but putting it down in the basics here, just to start, and then you're going to add to it going on. So we're about to begin, you push the up arrow. Now, HTML5, like I said, it, it's HTML and it's JavaScript. There's a couple of ways to handle the code. And as you can see, it's writing out the code for me. All right. I'm not going to type a single bit of code at all. I can, but I'm not going to. Um, just to show you the power of what you can do here. But as you can see, it created one HTML document. And in this case here, it's creating a... Um, a JavaScript document. Don't be, if you've never dealt with that, you know, um, don't be afraid because once we're done here and it stops its code, I'll show you how easy it is to handle that. So once it's done with its code, it explains to you what it did, why it did it, so you can make changes or create notes as you're going on, right? And if you look up here, the first thing it did was created an HTML file, right? Let's call it HTML. So all you have to do is copy the code and go over in my little folder here, put everything in one folder, make your life easier later, right? And we're going to do a new text document. And we're going to, uh, whoop, come on. There we go. We're going to paste the HTML in there, right? And then file, save as, and you want to save it as something HTML. So the computer knows what to do with it, right? We're going to call it pong.html, right? Now, the next thing that it created was, oh, and in the, you can see here in the HTML document, it lays out the style and then it calls for pong.javascript, right? Which is what this created next, pong.javascript.js. So all we gotta do is copy the code, new text document, and paste all that in there, file, save as, and give it the same name, pong.js. Done. So now we have the structure of our game already done for us and all we have to do is click pong.html to start it see what happens so let's do that clicky there we go oh here we are so whoop, move my arrow didn't work right, hang on a second let's make this bigger see if we can't get this moving there we go so it made the paddle move left to right with my arrow keys the ball's moving, well, frankly, it moves like I drive. Slow, straight. I'm one of those guys who, like, drives 40 miles an hour regardless of the speed zone. I know people hate it. But you can see up at the top right, it's keeping count, which is what we asked. And we're just going to miss it this time. We It created barriers like we asked. And oh, there is no way to lose. It just restarts the game. So these are a couple of things we can fix, right? We didn't, didn't respond. So let's put this in here and say, uh, okay, make the ball move faster and add more barriers. Um, if you win or it, um, let's see if 
if the ball gets past the paddle, you lose. All right. So we're going to click the arrow up. Now, as you can see here, it tells you it only had to modify the pong.javascript to do this. All right. So when we update, we're only going to have to update that one file. All right. Which is nice. It tells you everything. The really sweet thing about having AI code, besides the fact that I don't have to type a single thing here, is you can take this time to drink your coffee, which is fantastic. I'm kicking back, relaxing. I got my dark roast French brew here. Black and strong like my soul. So uh, I can enjoy that and just let it do the work. It, I, I don't know why I adjusted DX to DY and what that means and more barriers than adding the lose condition. That, that's another sweet thing. If Even if you know how to code, some of these functions that take you a month to Sunday it's to, to figure out. So uh, what I do is I copy the code. I'm going to select all, delete. In my pong.javascript, right? Envy, I'm going to paste, file, save. Oops, not save as knucklehead. File, save. And then we're going to go back to the folder here and we're going to run our pong and see what happens. So we have more barriers. Ball's moving quicker. Counter's still working. All right. And let's see if we can now test our condition on losing. Um, so, oh, that ball's slow. And there it goes. Game over. Sweet. That's awesome. All right. So, now we can add new things to it or whatever. Right? So, yeah, we, we, we love it. So, that's great. Now, to have a video game, just doing that is fantastic. We took... 10 minutes here and we now have a functioning pong game that that's amazing just shocking right but to make a game a game you need to add sound some graphics uh something to have some interactivity to to keep the user's interest so i've already pre-downloaded um some sounds boing one two and three loser winner and a couple of graphics to show you how um chat gpt or actually javascript will put graphics and sounds into a program and how quickly you can then uh add that in to make your life better so let's uh let's start with um when the ball hits the wall a bang a bang diggy diggy <laughs> somebody out there is going to get that joke when the ball hits the wall um play boing 1.mp3 so give it the name right when the ball hits the paddle play boing 2. MP3, and when the ball hits the barrier, play boing 3 MP3, uh, I should probably notate that correctly, huh? and do, 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 do. cool. Um, if you win, uh, display the image winner dot JPG, right? That's what we call it. And play the sound winner dot MP3, right? We all know the difference, right? I should be playing some background music here. If you lose.
play the sound loser dot mp3 so again you can uh, you can get as creative with this as, as, as you want i just want to show you how to put sounds and images in and the way you put sounds and images in is literally just tell it hey put the sound in when this happens put this image in when this happens and then you click the up arrow and let chat gpt do the rest so again now in this case it's telling you i'm going to update the html file so we'll have to update that as well and now it's going to rewrite the java code so you can see it's adding those assets right the the mp3s and the images um into the html file so it knows to preload that and then it's rewriting the javascript and you know use your imagination you can put a background on you can create um uh, you can create uh, areas where maybe the ball goes faster, ball goes slower. Um, you could, you know, make warp fields. I mean, you can do background images, background music. It, it really doesn't matter. The cool thing is you don't have to look up the functions on how to do it. It just does it. Um, you just have to sip your coffee, okay, wait, and then copy and paste the code and you're good to go with your game. All right, so there it is. It made its suggestions or its new code. We're going to first copy the uh, HTML file. So where is that one? Pong.html. Right click. Uh huh. Thank you. Open with Notepad. Edit. Select all. Delete. Control V to put our new HTML in there and save. Same thing with the Pong. We're going to go back here to the Pong.js. We're going to copy the code. We're going to find our Pong.js. We're going to open with open. Uh, no. Open with. Shout out if you see it. There you go. Thank you. Open with notepad. Repeat after me, edit, and select all, delete, control V, file, save, good to go. So now we're going to try our new Pong, and we should have a game here with recorded audio correctly. If I did it right, we're done. If, uh, what the hell? And if I did it wrong, I got a new 20 minute video to make. So let's see what we got. So let's click Pong. See what happens. So there it goes. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so let's see here. Get it off here. So that's pretty cool, right? So now we can play this through to our winner screen if we want. Or we can play it through to our loser screen. Let's see what happens if we lose. And game over. Game over. <laughs> so now it just automatically restarted. And if I was going to continue to code this game, I would then uh, put a stop and say, hey, when display screen stop and, and restart the game or something like that you know just tell it that you want to stop there and restart so i uh, certainly would make the ball go much faster or you know you can even ask chat gpt and say hey give me some suggestions on how to make this game more fun and challenging um you know maybe maybe i'd change the shape of the paddle where it's angled or uh Maybe the ball becomes Major Geek's logo, right? But but I think that's the point, is using AI to create a game like this um, to do all the coding, the heavy lifting, the research for you allows you to be more creative in what you're doing. So, so there you go. There is a game. 
in under 20 minutes uh, using AI. A couple of sounds I found on the internet, and, and there you go. So uh, that's how it's done. Really quite easy. You do an HTML5, you can get much more complicated. It works in all sorts of different languages. But if you want to just do something fun, create a trivia game, create whatever, that's how you do it. Really quite simple, quite easy. Couple of files in a folder. And then even then when you're doing HTML, you could uh, HTML5, you could just zip this up, send it to a buddy or friend, and, and they could play it right right then and there, right? So uh, easy to share. So it's good to go. Anyway, um, I'll put all the links to what I talked about in the, in the description below. I appreciate your time. Um, if you like this, hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to share and try your own game and make it, hit us up in the forums um, and share it. I'd love to maybe even post it on Major Geek. So that other people can uh, can enjoy it with with you. So you might as well uh, might as well share it with the people on the internet if you're having fun, right? So anyway, there you go. Uh, until next time, geek it till it megahertz.